it's science it's maths is art uh, it's a skill and uh, it's all coming in one single plate uh food plating an idea on garnishing it's all came so later so as a person me uh, i was more gastronomic i love to eat a lot when you look into the food platings and garnishes garnishes is very well back i mean if you put a uh, if you place a biryani i mean uh, our ancestors they used to throw some uh, mint leaves chopped they they throw some uh, fried onions uh, on top of the biryani i mean even they wanted to make it look prettier and the concern is saying i eat the food first everyone knows that the now i mean nowadays nowadays is changed the camera is the food first or the mobile is the food first i mean yeah that's a criteria now the all instagrams and the social media is working out more i am from south i've done my schoolings from mangalore uh, then i moved to pune bombay bangalore then i have done my trainings there with my great chefs i came over here and the bombay palace i was in and that was one of the very traditional restaurant i ever worked very authentic it has got nearly 30 35 years of experience in london so they mold me inside how the palate works for uh, another people i mean uh, we have our own dal makhani butter chicken but it has got some spice waves around so it's not changing the recipe as such but uh, tuning the palate was a trick uh in all the dishes i mean it doesn't mean that we change the recipes to or we add more sugar to get it mild no it's not that it's only a, a kind of a palate changed uh so i was there for nearly 3 4 years actually so where i was trained completely in authentic space of indian kitchen then i got a chance to work with uh, cinnamon club and cinnamon kitchen where is one of the great chef called chef vivek singh and his approach was for the food is like uh, more towards a food plating even though uh, it has got indian value in taste and flavors then it has got more towards a food person but it has got both i mean the contemporary styles and the modern style they had both then i moved to lalit landam where i'm currently working actually uh, got uh, i had a couple of executive chefs with me and uh, they had given me enough freedom to choose uh, my dishes on the menu uh, my team was great supportive um, to get the things done on the board uh, now i am heading the team um, i don't have any executive chef but the team is giving uh, a macklin support for me to do uh, try new things on the plate the all idea of food plating again uh, uh, came from especially uh, kerala food and indian food i tried to uh, food plating the only one concern the food has to look pretty yeah. and uh, many of the dishes what we have uh, for example butter chicken for example palak gosh uh, we i don't think so anyone thought of getting into a plate instead of am another than a curry bowl it has got the food has got that much value but many times uh, i mean we just dip a uh, naan piece or we just mix with some rice and have it but when i come over here i have seen there is lots of prime ingredients for example if i'm if i'm making a lamb the prime cut lamb i am seeing over here it's like for example it's a lamb saddle it's so delicate and so prime so i didn't want to chop them or cut them into uh, pieces and i um, mean brew it with the sauces so when it is it looks absolutely nice tender you know, for example is like a chicken breast it's a, i mean we used to have a corn fried chicken breast we used to have a, a wild range chicken breast it looks so nice i mean i didn't want to just cut them or make them the cues and um, put in a sauce and uh, the whole appearance changed it's a curry is curry anyway but if you look a whole chicken breast on the plate with a very slice with a good garnish it has got more um, value of uh, uh, what do you call like a scenery value Oh, I, I mean, it's so eye appealing. That's what I felt. I mean, it, it's something like uh, respect to the ingredients, uh, and get the maximum value of the ingredients. And uh, the, I mean, the, I mean, I'm when I'm doing that, I felt personally felt like I'm just upgrading the dish as it is. So instead of giving a butter chicken in a bowl, so I, uh, I don't know, have you seen? I mean, I recently done some food plating with the butter chicken, chicken breast and chicken legs. I mean, I just boneless them. and slice them in a plate and are served with the butter chicken sauce i mean it looks so nice the plate itself has got its own value of of things but yeah many people doesn't agree to it even though i try to do some kerala food 
uh, also to the uh, fine dining thing but uh, many people just message me and saying that uh, don't ruin the dish and uh, see I, i always tell them um, see um, many people told me like uh, see we we have a, a very traditionalism uh, in inside in our core so don't ruin the dish that's what some of the comments what i have got so i told them see i am not here to ruin any of our dishes i'm just letting the others know who doesn't have a much knowledge about indian kitchen saying that this is another dish uh, it's got influence from my own dish or my own cuisine dish i'm not saying i'm not representing uh, for for example we have something called edisheri um, in our back home kerala where pumpkin and lentils brew together and uh, with the sauces and coconut everything what over here i made up i bought a baby pumpkin and i cut them into wedges and i roast them and with the trimmings i made the same edisheri sauce and i placed the steak i um, mean a pumpkin on top of this uh, uh, edisheri and placed to the guest and i told them this is my pumpkin steak so i can't serve a bowl of edisheri uh, like a pumpkin and lentils brought together to a guest saying that this is really good so this is something that's got a value you can have it for your main course so, and i can't say that so if i say okay this is my pumpkin steak so people are more identify what is called steak and what is pumpkin steak something new terms come to the market so then they have it then i had my all small description underneath saying okay this is a dish which is got influenced my own cuisines called pumpkin edisheri a dish we had a dish called pumpkin edisheri in our own cuisine where i'm trying to literate people about my own cuisine so i'm not saying that okay uh, i'm just replicating anything into a plate now this is what my great vision of food writing and uh, it's all coming from uh, i mean it's it's not like a, a single day it's it's got uh, bombed into my head but uh, it was a long process try to keep everything on a plate with a good gestures and uh, there are uh, senior chefs uh, they said uh, um, they uh, what to call like uh, they encouraged me and uh, then uh, Uh, yeah i got the hands on i hope so <laughs> people are liking it now so that's the all initial process came i'll be showing a couple of things what i do use for food ratings uh this okay and initially we, uh we you feel like it's just a strong actually we call them as tweezers uh there are special tweezers for many purposes and this is a very delicate uh tweezers uh where we can uh pick very delicate things and we can uh, keep anything in the middle or anything uh adjust into anything else i mean it's it's very delicate things uh so another small things where we can pick uh we see if you if you look at this so it's so you can pick up any flat things so there are uh another sophisticated things so this is Uh, a very prime tool wall food plating has got and this is something called uh, it's again a spoon some people call this a sauce spoon um some people call uh, it's a culinary um art spoon so basically you can there in in many shapes and sizes um basically you can pour the sauce inside and you can draw on a slant ways you can draw according to the um size or shapes what you need uh culinary draw spoons uh this is spatula um mini spatula where you can uh, pick up small pieces of uh, any items what you cooked and you can carefully place on the plate and this is a got a very personal uh gift from one of my friend and supplier he given to me it's a snail uh spatula what i have got and uh some of the things you can um things see these are butterflies i mean uh, these are cookie cutters actually you can even make impressions you can uh, dip into any any chutney or any sauce you can you can get the impression on the plate and uh, this is half moon and and this is a heart shaped a flower and all these you can make in impressions on the plate and uh, another main thing is uh, we call them as like again a cookie cutter and what i do i'll keep them and if i want any any round shape on the plate and i'll keep on the plate and i'll arrange so i build up the food inside in this so it it doesn't uh, spread everywhere 
so it remains in the same place so i will show you uh, using all these uh, utensils uh, doing a foot plating actually and this is spatula as you can reverse spatula you can we can put a sauce look at this you can keep a sauce on the plate and you can just um, do a, a wipe and you will get an impression on the plate uh, it's like a different size and shape so you can, it's like uh, same like a cake making uh, for the cake pastries you will get all this on that and uh, again this is another one is an again a mold uh, we can build up things or we can set things according to this so before you are doing any food plating you will keep in mind we can do all simple things if you can't if you can if you can't buy these things you can you can uh, any bottle cap we can cut them uh, on the other side you can make into a ring and uh, see these all simple things what you can do uh, even if you don't have a spatula you can use a spoon uh, very carefully uh, and a sauce bottle as well yeah, I don't have it at the moment uh, the sauce bottle is one of the main thing while doing a food plating any chutneys or if you want to do any drops or any pickup uh, any, any drawings you can do it with the sauce bottle as well the same thing you can do it in this as well we can do even drops uh, if you if you put a drop and we can make it bigger smaller 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 and smallest if you for at the moment now i'm in the lockdown from one year um, we have uh, local shops of vegetables um, i take uh, um, when all my kids around the school and over here i take my wife and I, i'm going to the market not to purchase anything just to see what the market has got so i'll just go and butcher shops and see what are they got uh, i'll go to the uh, fish mongers and see what the fishes they have got uh, go to the local vegetable shops they see i mean to see uh, what the vegetables they have so when i do that i mean i i get some ideas of food trading i get some ideas of uh, uh, trying new things when i see red cabbage people uh, red cabbage people end up thinking of making koreal with it so what i'm thinking is why can't i make a chutney with red cabbage and i can do a food plating when a chutney comes into uh, a plating a white plate it has got a vibrant look why can't i use that when i saw a prime cut meat instead of putting a cut them into chopping into a rogan josh why can't i make a rogan josh separate with the uh, uh, bone so we'll get all flavors with the bones the rogan josh has got all the flavors with the bones the meat i will use, grill them and use it on the plate so it has got more value for the plate so it's all uh, influenced uh, for example uh, if you if i'm driving uh, in my mind there'll be some dishes in my mind okay uh, for example i had a uh, sardine uh, sardine fry back home so what i think and i how can i place sardine in such a way on a plate i mean uh, people like it sardine is such a fish i mean uh, i mean forcefully degraded fishes sardine i mean hardly people eats it other than back home um it's it has got lots of bonds in so then keep on trying it i mean how can i do what can i do with this so we have a, a custom uh, of having a sardine fish curry or sardine fry uh, having um, rice with a coconut chutney and uh, stir fry potato it's my typical home dish what my mom prepares so i want to take that concept into a food plating um i literally i i was behind three weeks uh, of ideas and i draw many p uh, papers on on the, on the paper how it can be how, how can we plate so when you look into a food plate if i get an idea okay this i want to plate so first thing is coming mind how does this plate and which plate it has to come in and then what are the accompaniments to go with it so we can't keep anything under the sun for a color combination so we have to have a color combination thing it has to be on the plate it has to go well with the main protein main ingredient mm -hmm. so for example uh, i have a fish and i have a potato but uh, the fish fry and white potato stir fry it doesn't look nice so, so what I, I was just mindstorming what i can do then i realized that there is something called purple potato the potato which is in purple in color so mm -hmm. i made the same dish with the stir fry with the purple potato so when it comes to plate it looks more nicer but the hardcore idea is what my mom prepared this and the same thing same dish uh, the fish fry i marinate the fish in garlic pickle and i fry them in banana leaves i kept the banana leaves on the pan i fry them on top of it to get more flavors of banana leaves on and i made a chutney with a coconut dry coconut so made a chutney on and i made a uh, red purple potato 
you can place it in such a way so it, when it comes to the plate and the white plate it, it has got a fabulous look this is the plate this is a sardine fry with a purple potato we have a something called a, okay rogan josh for example i'm just saying an example we have something called rogan josh we may have only but i want to play the rogan josh but what comes on the plate and how does plate work and which plate is supposed to give it in um see i can't give i can't use all the plates for everything Mm-hmm. So at the moment of what I'm trying again I'm using only white plates to do all the food plating. So under lockdown I just want to uh, see if you if you're in a five star hotel kitchen or a five star dining kitchen you will get a sophisticated ingredients in. Sorry. You will get a sophisticated ingredients in. You will get sophisticated machines in to get uh, lots of thing. But at the moment I am I'm I'm thinking in a perspective of a, a home chef like a, a house mom uh, uh, who can cook in the home. uh in 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 a home kitchen i can place in such a way with a very limited ingredients what uh, uh the home has got right that is what i am doing now so if you are uh, you can you can talk about molecular gastronomy mm-hmm. uh, you can talk about specification you can talk about uh, the smoke gun you can you can in smoke infuse things we have something called dry ice we can't have it but if you keep a dry ice on a plate or on a platter and you put a plate uh, put another plate on top and before reaching the customers you put some water on the dry ice you'll get smoke right so the whole appearance of the food has been changed i mean they will feel like they are they are sitting in the oven they are full of smoke around they have a feel of they are sitting in the oven with a lot i mean heaven uh, with lots of clouds around it's a simple example of science and we have something called a nitrogen solution um, which is a uh, uh, which is minus 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 degree So if you do, if you put a drop of yogurt inside uh, it solidifies like an ice in a fraction of seconds so what happens we just spray yogurt into it it will make a dust it's right. like a yogurt dust actually and it's frozen yogurt dust it we can keep on the plate and uh, there is smoke gun naturally nowadays we have a, a clouds we keep the we a, we close the clouds and we put a gun inside uh, put lots of smoke inside when it reaches the customers we open the on the clouds and show them it's lots of smoke inside and the food is been infused with the smoke you can talk all about this in a five star kitchen right but i'm sitting home i'm thinking in such a way it was completely my hands were completely uh, banned for a couple of months and i didn't know what to do in in this lockdown then i started realizing see there are lots of things i started uh, keeping mustard in a in a tissue paper and in a wet tissue to get the crust on so is germinate and i use the crust for a food plating i never thought of before when i was in the kitchen so i i pick up my phone and i ask for master crust or next day i'll get master crust so i had to plan 3 weeks before to get the master crust zone on my plate then if i get uh, anything new uh, uh see so i i made a dish recently uh, a dish a fish called a milk fish this is a fish with the tail on people hardly uh, keep the tails in 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 indian food plating but i cut in such a way it has got i mean we have to visualize first what need to be put on the plate how does it look like i mean it's like a, a big amount of planning is behind it's not that we just we kept anything ready we just uh, uh, place anything on the plate it doesn't look nice i mean it doesn't look nice so we have to visualize and plan things and organize thing okay this has to go with this i mean this is a red as i said it's a purple cabbage chutney the fish goes really well with this chutney and the side over here yeah it's a seafood crackers there is no such dish exists in the market i just prepared it and i have done a a, a new marination for the fish which Thank has got uh, tomato i mean hardly people use tomato for the marinations but i used tomato romango ginger and curry leaves for the marination i didn't ruin the fish flavor with lots of marinades in and i made a chutney and i made a cracker so when you look at this a plate i mean it's got a good color combination it has got a textures fish has got a small uh, a flaky texture the chutney give you the hit of a uh, green chili and uh, vinegarity Thank and it's soft and uh, the crisp give you the crunchiness so when you look into the plate i mean the whole aspect is coming to the plate is not only uh, uh not only uh, the style or colors on the plate and the textures will give a good play in in and around the mouth and the what comes with you can't keep anything on the plate to looks make it uh, more nice i mean anything what we keep it has to have that uh, flavor combinations together 
if you look into the european cuisines you'll get the end number of food platings they have got uh, their own accompaniments i mean it's quite easy to do food platings there is no point i mean if a home chef wants to learn food plating they have to learn the european cuisine then come to indian cuisine for food planning that is uh, that is not relevant actually if you want to do food plating there are a couple of things you should keep in mind you should have a good plan okay what are you going to food what are you going to plate and especially if you're plating a fish and what are the accompaniments a fish can uh, go well with right of uh, then in which plate you're going to do it i mean for example if you do a a, a white thing on a white plate might doesn't look nice um so you should think i mean which plate and how big your main item is and how big your plate is um it shouldn't be like uh, the small plates and you're having a big uh a big uh, chunk of meat on a plate and doesn't look nice so it all perpendicularly have to match and then color combinations uh what color is your main item or the main ingredient what uh, for example if you want to place a grilled chicken so that will be in a red color it could be in a green color it could be in a yellow color so what has to be come on the plate and what has to accompany them what are the color combination you can add on for example if you are keeping a green grilled chicken with a haryali grilled chicken if you for example if you are placing a haryali grilled chicken you can't again put a green chutney on top of it uh and uh, what are the i mean if you put a uh, uh, then again uh, you need a textures in mouth so now that if you're keeping a soft uh, a very semi solid items on a plate you need some crunchiness on the on the mouth so i have made a squid uh, plating it is quite rubbery uh, quite squeezy thing the uh, squid so what i have done is i crushed some seaweed uh, uh, crisp and placed on top of it so while you're having a squid you will get some crunch in somewhere in your mouth so it's like a two textures in your mouth will give you more value instead of just chewing your uh, squid on so that is another case so when it all comes together a fabulous food plate works this is another food plating with egg roast and i used the ring to keep arrange everything inside the ring so when you lift up the ring the plate looks so neat so clear everything round and in shape so this is and i used with the sauce bottle and i made an impression of love and arranged pink radish on the sides and with the tweezers i kept uh, uh, flowers and uh, foam i used with the spoons and again i used tweezers to arrange everything and uh, this is a culinary spoon i'm using uh, this is a typical salad actually with the pink radish and lots of micro crush and avocado and some walnut crush this is another food plating with a grilled kingfish and i'm using a spatula and i make sure to place it and check the alignment uh, with the spatula so i'm using a small spoon uh, to keep the salads and again tweezers coming under the plate this is another style of food plating where i'm using a square mold uh, i have used coriander chutneys and berry chutneys on the plate so i make sure it has got a look of uh, keep going along and i kept a lamb chops and some onion salad with the beetroot and pomegranate simple as it is and this is one of the food plating which is very influ- influenced me with uh, Uh, music and here i tried to draw music notes uh, with the coriander chutney then a beetroot raita uh, some chili flakes on the sides and uh, here i can show how you can draw with uh, squeezy bottles and see i have done a draw and some drops and done salad with the pepper and cucumber oh here i'm trying to be a bit more tricky and i used a stencil from my kids drawer and i made an impression of a uh, flower with the red cabbage and pepper chutney and i made cabbage puri on the plate and made a uh, placed a grilled duck with mustard crust so there's another food plating and i'll show you this is a cod fish and i'm grilling the cod fish with pak choy on this is my spatula only three utensils i'm using for the food plating that is culinary spoon tweezers and uh, small spatula i place a fish and kept pink radish with the tweezers and pak choy it is very simple food platings and this is something i made at home actually uh, this is a sweet dosa even dosa you can do food plating it's a dosa batter on and jaggery and coconut mix as an other like an uthappa i placed with the nuts so it's like a sweet uthappa and uh, dosa batter dosa is cooked both sides perfectly and i cut them into triangles basically um, as a uh, as a wedges and i place carefully uh, on a plate and i put some tamarind chutney on top of it and some fruits on top of it and some honey on top so it's like it's a simple thing when made with the dosa but it looks so colorful um on a plate the color combination comes on uh, give you more vibrant look on the plate even though it's a simple dosha in this plate i will show you how the texture is going to work 
so it's a grill squid it's quite soggy and soft and rubbery and i have done a crisp a seafood crisp actually to give more textures and some colors as a crest to give more vibrant look very simple and look at this and this is something called grilled vegetable we have something called avial now cuisine and i'm getting a modern look of avial grilled vegetables some coconut crust on top and the yogurt chutney on the side it's another simple food plating with the carrot and parsnips uh cut them in the same size and same but just it look like a flowers and a made chamandi or chutney and it's a shallow pearls and i removed one petal from shallots and i filled the chutney inside in this and see i used uh, stencil again for food plating look at this very simple food plating hacks grilled fish with coriander chutney and beans porial so simple let me show you a dessert food plating i made an impression on the plate with a uh, Kit Kat. I just heated them up and made an impression on the plate. I made some berry chutneys and kept inside the zigzag and placed a mousse and some fig sliced and placed honey on top. You might not need sophisticated plating tools to do food plating. Look at this ring. The steel ring, the same steel ring every household has to keep a hot vessel on a table to prevent the heat. I use the same to make an half circle with rubbery and to keep a uh, stuffed plantain on the plate. This is how it looks. When you look into the plate, you will get that uh, positive energy many times. So sometimes, uh, whatever you do, I mean, sometimes we do uh, spend uh, five hours in the kitchen to one for one food plating done and correct, but still you don't like it. So it's all like a, <laughs> like a, like a movie. I mean, the directors uh, make a movie and we we sit for another two hours in the theater. And, well, we didn't like it. See, when you're coming, when you're saying about the food platings, uh, the molecular gastronomy has got a great impact. on what the what are we doing and it's molecular gastronomy it simply means it's a science basically the more science implementations on the food the cooking process and uh, make sure how sophisticated it looks and it's is to change every day what my concern is just go with the bus go with the flood learn everything as quick as i can um keep up to date in the local market uh, social media helps what others are doing uh, it's not like uh, it's not that uh, peeping through what others are doing and replicate my own but just to see what others are doing and learn what i mean i'm i'm looking what i can learn from them that in terms of uh, um, european cuisine in terms of french cuisine so in terms of uh, any other cuisine in the world so what i am trying to do i'm i'm trying a uh, learning every day I mean, if i see everything anything i'll keep in mind how can i adapt this into my cuisine a new cooking process uh, if i see something okay how can i adapt into my cuisine so it's a learning process i mean it, it doesn't stop and if you didn't i mean if you know something and if you keep in your mind okay i am an expert so you can't reach anywhere after after a couple of months it might be outdated so you have to be in the market you have to see what others are doing you have to be very careful what uh, what's happening in the world what new ingredients are coming in the world for example coffee lime uh it's a leaf actually we have we used lime lime juice and lemon juice coffee lime as a leaf people hardly use in in indian kitchen but in oriental or thai kitchen it's an ingredient for many what i have done is i have uh, implemented uh, coffee lime leaves into my coriander chutney and i made a blend so it has got a coffee lime flavors in my coriander chutney and i do marination to the chicken so it has got a coffee lime chicken tikka what i have got it if i didn't learn about any other cuisines or any other ingredients i i couldn't bring such things into my cuisine to be in the market to learn every day uh, what what's happening around the world so be up to date that's the only thing and be ready to change there is no hard and fast rules for anything if i see a a, a french chef is doing some um, new things on the plate um, i may not able to catch the same thing but i'm i'll i'll keep in mind okay i like the texture i like the technique how can implement to my indian food okay which food i mean it's not that everything goes with everything and how can i implement into any of my food plating so when you when you people are coming to the fine dining restaurants they have pretty much in mind okay for a, i mean a plate has got everything in it see there and there is no hard and fast rules on the food plating so you you have to do this you have to do that and otherwise uh, there has to be color combination there, there is no hard and fast rule these all are perspectives i mean to make a uh, food looks better but uh, even if you if you if you uh, if you plate a white dessert on a white plate with the white accompaniments if the food looks nice that's your style see that is the food painting so basically the food has to look nice 
but our concept of an uh, our theory is like i mean if you keep a any uh, particular color meet on a different color platform it's give a more shine or more vibrant look on the main main item that is what the concept what we follow but sometimes even i i have a plate uh, yogurt dessert on a white plate but the convenience once comes in with the pictures or the with the textures it looks nice that is all about, all about there is no hard and fast rule uh, regarding food plating so only rule it has to look nice uh, for example very sophisticatedly people draw things or lines and uh, with an accurate measures they keep things on sometimes i just splash around things on a plate to get a rustic look so it's all depends on what you're plating and how you plate it